Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to Transport Fever 2. Uh, excited to bring this one to you. I, I like these little transport games every now and again. I, I couldn't play them all the time, but I do quite enjoy uh, the challenge that they bring occasionally. So I thought I'd give this one a try. Um, uh, right, first of all, we need to mention the elephant in the room. This isn't Planet Zoo. It's been the first non-Planet Zoo game on the channel for a few months now. And I imagine for a lot of you, it's probably the first uh, non-Planet Zoo game on the channel that you've ever seen. So, uh, if it is, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please give it a chance. I try and bring my sort of laid-back uh, creative style to all of my videos, so I do hope you enjoy it. If you are just here for Planet Zoo, that's fine. There'll be more Planet Zoo content as well, but now the sort of initial hump of Planet Zoo is over with now. It's about time we sort of started to branch out again and look at some other games, but there will be more Planet Zoo, uh, but commenting in this video saying, where's Planet Zoo? Uh, that ain't gonna get you anywhere. Planet Zoo will come out later in the week. Maybe even today, who knows. Uh, but yeah, for now, we're going to play some Transport Fever. I played a few of the campaign levels just to kind of get up to speed, but we are going to be going into what they call a free game, uh, which is basically the, the, the meat and veg of the game, really. It's a sandbox game. So I want to try and do... Um, quite easy to start off with, to be honest with you. I don't mind some water but I think maybe just the one river there just to keep it interesting to start off with. I do want to go for dry. I want to go for typical kind of, um, you know, American Midwest start of this one, you know. Um, high, fact uh, high towns, medium factories. That sounds fine to me. Medium-sized map. Uh, okay, happy with all of that. Um, USA train started in 1850. Difficulty easy. That's fine for me to start off with. There's a good chance that once we get up to speed with it, we might start again with a more challenging map. Um, but yeah, other than a couple of uh, simple tutorials, uh, this is all very new to me. Okay, here we are then, our big open plane. Nice bit of big flat space here that we've got to work with. Uh, a couple of mesas over here. New York City, right down there in the middle of a canyon, just like real life. Um, but I, I think it's all sort of randomly generated, right? We've got Santa Clara, Haywood, uh, Savannah... Palmdale over there, Wichita, a little one down there, and we've, there's a big uh, wheat farm in the middle here. So basically the idea of this game is to set up conveyor belt systems, to set up transport systems to move goods around and have them uh, generate into into what they what they need to be. So I've noticed a simple one here that could do us pretty well to start off with. Uh, Washington CC would like bread and bricks that's the i mean the two things that really set up you for life right bread and bricks now bread is made over here at this food processing plant uh, and it's made from wheat and here we have a wheat farm okay so there's you've got a little loop there so we if we can get the wheat from there to here and we can get the bread from here to there we've got a little setup going straight away um, and that's going to earn us revenue uh, and other stuff. So now there is there is like a dirt path. Now I, I still I don't I think that's probably a bit too much of a space to do uh, horse and cart, which is what it'll be straight off. So I think we probably just dive straight in with uh, with a train track. Uh, other than that, what else have we got? There's logs here and there's a logging place here. So that's probably a nice, easy, simple one to get set up with as well. Uh, other than that, what's a which to want? Which to want uh, tools and what's that? Oh, fuel. Okay. Um, uh, anything else that's jumping out at me is like an easy start. Lots of oil and oil and coal and stuff. Uh, here, there's that's over the river. What about what about up this top here? Is there a simple thing we can set up over here? Um, they turn fuel uh, oil into fuel. Is there oil? Anywhere over this side? No. Not to be... That would be too simple, wouldn't it? Logs uh, into logs there, and then into tools, and then into there. Oh, that's quite a good one, look. So we've got logging camp into planks, planks into tools, and tools can go to savannah. So we could have quite a, quite a little railway track that just sort of does this. Oh, maybe that's it then. That's where we're going to start. Okay. So let's go to train tracks, buildings, and we're going to start with a, a terminus station, cargo terminus station, that is. And then we're going to turn this round. Uh, everything's set to high, by the way, and we are playing in 4K. Um, it's not great optimized, if I'm completely honest. Um, 
it's a little uh, it's a little stilted. I think we might have to turn the settings down a little. Um, I'm gonna try and get that so it's so it's actually attaching itself. It doesn't seem to want to, does it? How about we? Where's it got to come down to here, right? So if we do something like that, maybe are we gonna have to build a bit of road out to this? That's fine if we have, but um, let's have a look. So if we can do something like that, okay. And then go to our roads here. Like that. Okay, so now, yeah, you now serve the logs there. Okay, that's good. So one station there. So we're going to take the logs down to here. Well, we really want it to just sort of carry on through, right? So we don't want a terminal station. We just want a regular cargo station. So we'll bring that out that way, like uh, so. Okay, and then we can join those up. Collision, there we go, perfect. There's a nice smooth track there. Uh, and now we need to take it up to here, another cargo station. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, actually, let's get Let's get this one running, right? Because because uh, well, that can start earning us revenue while we bring the rest in. So we need somewhere for the uh, the trains to come from. So we'll get a depot in here. Um, I, I was I quite like the depots to be lined up and, and neat with the stations. So happy to do that. There we go. And then we can bring this down to here on a decent angle. There, good stuff. So let's get in here and let's get a, get get a train bought. So oh, we got loads to choose from. I'm assuming we only got the one engine though. Yeah. Okay. So Baldwin six wheels. Are you gonna start us off? Uh, and then cargo passengers. We need something that can transport logs. So it's you're the only one. So it's gotta have to be you. Um, seven capacity. Let's see. See, so we can just keep adding them like that. But that's no good, really, is it? I don't think we we probably. Can we do five? Six? Okay, let's let us do that. That's good. Um, so now we need to add a train line, right? So from new line from here to here. There we go. Achievement earned, first line. Nice. And we'll name it. Uh, that's going to be, at the moment, it's just logs right oops logs okay so we come back into here and we can now set train one to be on logs and i'm gonna say we can we can unpoise first cargo item waiting have a cargo waiting at terminal yeah that's good so train's gonna make its way out of here there we go we can speed it up a little now the the only big problem is now it's going to have to... We should have thought about where that placed because it's going to have to come to here first before it does anything. Um, but that's okay. That's used up a bit. Oh, that's used up quite a bit of money, actually. So maybe it's a good job that we've got these logs running because they're, they're going to earn us revenue even though we're not sort of having a final product. Just moving the logs here to this sawmill is going to create us a bit of cash. Right, there we go. First logs dropped off. And we're now producing... Uh, some planks, that's good. And that earned us money. So we, we, it says here we're, we're minus 2 million now, our earnings. Today's earnings, which is good. But the actual train itself is showing as a uh, as a net win there. We're 41 grand up. So this shows you actually what that train specifically is earning. Lots of wood here ready for it, look. There we go. So that's lost a bit of money because we don't earn money just picking the logs up, right? We earn the money when it gets to here. So what we could do is put like a transfer track in here and have a second train. So we're moving double the amount of logs here to the Savannah Sawmill because at the moment that's sitting doing nothing. But I think for now, we'll uh, we'll run before we can... Uh, we'll walk, excuse me, before we can walk. And we'll come in and put another um, mid-cargo station in here. So, let's see if we can bring that around so it's nice and neat. 
There we go, straight onto the onto the tracks there. And then we'll take you out. Now I'm hoping we can cross. I'm hoping we can just cross over the road and it will create a uh, a junction for us. Let's have a look what it does. Oh yeah, it does, that's good, okay. It's just a plain, simple junction, but it does what it needs to do. Here, what's going on here? Oh, there's a bit of a, a bit of a crevice there, but that's fine. It gets up to there, no problem. Okay, so I think we can we can set this up as a second line, right? And then the trains will just take it in turns to come into the station. Pretty sure that's how it works. So let's do a new line from there to there. Oh no, sorry, there and back again. There you go. Okay, and this line is going to be called planks. Okay, so there's the line set up. Now we need a, a train to run on it. So again, we'll have to take one of those. Cargo, it's the same, basically the same train, right? So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six we put on the last one. So let's go for that again. And then we'll add that to planks. Now, my st I have a slight worry that it's going to get it's going to have to wait for this train to go past. Let's have a look whether we have to do that automatically. Oh, yeah, there you go. So we waited for that one to get out of the way. But I'm hoping we shouldn't have to worry about it too much. It should just do it automatically. Let's have a look. This one here. So it's waiting for a free pass, so it's classing all this as not free. So we're going to have to see what happens when this one gets past this station, because that's going to be the the real crux of it, is to whether or not they can come in and out of this station easily enough. So this is going to stop here, and this is going to pick up all these planks, which is great, and then it's going to move onwards. And I'm hoping that once this one gets out of the station, this one's going to start moving. There we go. Okay. So it seems to be that they're that they're automatically um, they're automatically signaling signaling themselves. We'll have to just keep an eye on what happens here once this one's dropped off its planks. Let's have a look. That's dropped all them off. There we go. So now that's sat there waiting now. So let's see what happens when this one comes out of the station or whether or not we're going to have to set up our own signals. If this comes out of here now, as long as this one starts up. Right, okay, so it is doing here, but it does, it does mean they're going to hang around a lot, right? So I think what might be a good idea is to put in a signal. Use the non pass signal to regulate traffic or as a one-way signal. So I'm going to put you there and there and let's see what that does so you're going to pick up your planks that's good off you pop with your planks you should st you're already moving whilst you're in the station so there we go i think so now all that will happen is if it gets here and there's someone in the station it'll wait at this signal it's not one way no it just means no line passing yeah there we go let's see if we can because what we could do is there's a, a lot of logs sat here waiting, over 300. And this one is picking up as many planks as there are each time. Let's see what that one does. There we go. And that's coming back out. I reckon, you know, I reckon another, another one here working the logs. We could double our... Uh, we could double, double our output of planks and have, have this one running at full capacity, much like this one is. So to do that, we need to just add a bit of track off here. Uh, yeah, like that, yeah. And then run it down the side of it for a little while, yeah. And then put it back on. Okay, now signals here need to be... Now where do they need to be? We need to have one there. 
and one there, is it? Where? No, hold on, let me think about this. If there's one there, there we go. And then you need to go. So you will stop as something else comes around you, right? And then you need one there. Okay, I think that's where they need to be. On the inside of those two bits, right? Okay. Let's see if we can get this up and running. So we're going to come into here. <clears throat> buy another steam locomotive and get some of those on. Six. This is going to pretty much... I was just about to say, I bet this will wipe us out. But we're not far off it, look. Our earnings are way less than that. Like that was minus something ridiculous before. Now, look, we're in profit. See? So I do I do wonder whether this is the best plan. But stuff is happening. Money's coming in. We need that for 1.482. We've currently got 1.172. Okay, well, I'll tell you what then. Let's just let it run for a minute. And uh, and see if we can accrue. Look, we're, all, we're almost near there, look. As soon as that's uh, gone up enough, we'll get that second train. Whether that was the right thing to do or not, I'm not sure. But we now have a five car. I couldn't afford the six. The money just never went over that 1.4. Whether this was the right thing to do or not, I really don't know. But we're going to find out now. This train is coming out of the station. Okay, which means that one can come in. Okay, you're holding on there. Which is correct. Okay. Okay, now I, mean, I don't really need you to come all the way up here, but you're going to, aren't you? Um... But otherwise, I think this—I mean, this should be good because this should double what's coming into it, and therefore double what's coming out of it, therefore double what's on that. Because this one is always running like half full. Look, it's got 14 slots there, another seven slots there. It's got like you know, it could it can double its capacity. I don't know why it's showing that as logs. I might have to make it so that it only holds planks, or will it automatically fill up on planks if they're there? Okay, you're waiting. That's good. Yes, yeah, so you're off. You're off. This is. This is okay, is it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right, okay, that's good, that's good. You're full, the one, the one that's got the logs on it is not holding on. You're going to come and drop some logs off. And come straight back out of the way. And you're going to come in. My, my, my big concern was that, like, they're really held up here. Well, let's have a look what this one does now. See, it, it took all that was there then. Like they've, they've just appeared as it went off. So I definitely think we're all right here. And again, the one with the logs on it is the one that isn't held up. That's good, I think. No, I don't think we've done that automatically. I think I don't think it's doing that on purpose. I think it's just that the one with the logs on is, is already on the track when this one comes back, you know. Let's have a see if it actually has sort of increased capacity. We're, we're earning money. It says that the earnings are low because we bought the, the train, right? But we are earning cash because that was down to nothing before. Yeah, so you're holding on now because there's nowhere else for that train to go. Okay, that's good, I think. So how much is sat here now? There's still just 20 planks. You're not producing? Well, maybe that can only hold 20. No, that, that, you're not actually making anything at the minute, are you? Until, this, until these logs turn up. Oh, yeah, stored lock. Right, there we go. Now it's kicking in again. Okay. So the, so the, the fix now, then, would be to increase that even more is to make these trains longer, right? So that they can just physically move more more wood each time. I don't really know whether or not this hanging around here is actually meaning that it's coming in any quicker. How many's produced there now? 21 still. But that's gonna have to hold on there as this one drops in. There we 
There we go. There's 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So there you go. That's the most it's had. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So now I'll be interested to see what happens with these logs here. Yeah, there you go. 39. There you go. So that's that's doubled. That's doubled what's going out this trip. And it, I don't think it's had to hang around any longer. So that's good, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. Like I say, this is I, I don't play these games too often. I think the last one of these we covered was Machinki, which was maybe two years ago. Um, but yeah, look, logs are coming in. Planks are coming out. Okay, good. I suppose the last thing to do then is to is to get these tools. Um, like it isn't actually showing that there's any stock of tools in. Is it unless it just doesn't produce them? We just we just revenue for them until they can actually get somewhere. So what we wanted to do really is to come over here into Savannah, right? So, and that will be at least for now the end of the line. End of the line. So cargo terminus. Let's uh, let's say that you you all want tools there. So that's that's good. You'll be you'll be you'll get your tools. There we go. Uh, tracks. So really, this this should be pretty straightforward. This is going to be just a, a there and back that's delivering tools. So let's put you about there. Okay, it's expensive, so we might have to hold on to put the actual train on it. But there's the line anyway, which we can get set up. So new line from Havana Sidings into Savannah Transfer, and that's going to be uh, tools. Okay. Now we are going to need another depot over here because there's no way the train will be able to get up to here because there's, there's always going to be a train in its way right unless we put another one of these signals in which i don't think we necessarily need how many how many have you got on you there oh yeah you're nearly full that's perfect so yeah the only way to really up that then was probably to make these longer because that one is only actually got five on it so if we could we could probably afford to make you longer now, so we can send you back to the thingy, right? Center depot. There we go. Um, center depot. Oh, sat. No, we don't want to sell you. We just want to sell you. Send you to the depot. So once you've dropped off, let's go and get you one longer and see if we can get that just perfect. And then, and then it's going to be a case of sitting on the money until we can um, have another train. So I suppose. What, what are you here? You're oil into fuel, and you do want fuel eventually. The only problem is there's nowhere that's getting oil over here. Over there. Refinery. That's going to be a tough one, isn't it? Because they're over here, look. Let's take it all the way to there, and then across. Unless there's another refinery around. No. That's going to be a tricky one. Oh, there, oh, there, 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 there. There's into oil. But still, not much around. Oh, there. So we could take oil to there to refine it. Bring it to here. And then back again. Oh, it's going to be tricky, isn't it? I think, uh, I definitely think we've started off with a nice simple one here. Uh, money is slowly trickling in. It's going to slow because you're back in the depot, but hopefully we've got train three. I would like to edit you. Edit, there we go. And add on one more of you. Modify for minor. Oh, we can't afford it. Oh, we're close to affording it. They're 200 grand each. That's, that's kind of crazy expensive. So as soon as we've got the money for that, we'll pay for that and up it a little. Money's up and down. We've got the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so these are both running six now. So that should hopefully just help really just kind of cap that one out. 
Um, it's a little ahead of them at the minute, but hopefully over time that'll that'll stock up. Um, we, there's no way we can afford the train for the tools here, but what I'm thinking is maybe we could take out a small loan of a million dollars and um, and maybe set up some uh, infrastructure in here, maybe set up some bus routes or something, just to try if we can get a little bit of extra earnings coming in. Um, so let's have a look at loans. There we go. Oh, we have a five million loan already. Wow. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna borrow more because that's how the world works: is that you borrow more money to to pay more money. Uh, we can come into roads now, streets, buildings. There we go. So bus and tram stop. Uh, bus and tram station. Uh, Truck on those start road depot, tram depot. We used to buy or sell buses and trucks. There we go. So that's, that's what we want. One of these. And we're going to place it down. Uh, I'm turn it around. So it fits in there quite nicely. All right. And then we'll put down some bus slash tram stations. And we'll put one down. Uh, in each of the areas, so we've got a, there's an industrial area over here, there's a commercial area here, and uh, a, a, sorry, a residential area there and a commercial area there. Okay, so we'll set those three up as a line. So new line, uh, you, you, and you. Yep, yeah, there we go. You can be Savannah uh, bus. It's called Savannah, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's buy a vehicle. Excuse me. Uh, so passenger, horse-drawn carriage, capacity four. I'm going to buy three of them. Whoops. Again, I'm all on Savannah bus. Okay. What's this telling me? Thank you. Uh, so they're going to throw throw themselves out into work. Let's see if these make much money. First passenger waiting, nice. Okay. You've picked up two people, that's good. I mean, three might be too many. We might be able to drop it down to... to just two. But let's have a look. I'm just going to watch them for a minute. And see how they uh, how they do. For just, that's already in profit, that one. That's good. You, you're not in profit yet. There's two people waiting there, so maybe when you drop off, let's have a look. Oh, nearly, nearly, nearly in profit, but maybe, maybe just two would be enough there then. Let's have a look. Savannah bus. Uh. There you go, you are not in profit. Manage vehicle. I'm going to take row vehicle three. Uh, I'm going to sell you. There we go. Let's just have two buses on that route. Are, we, are you it? Or are you just a private one? Oh, this has got upgraded. There we go. That's a good thing, I think. Okay, let's find out. There's four people on that one. There you go. You're in profit a little. And you're not in profit. But money's coming in, look. Money's coming in. So I think we're okay there. I'm going to repay 500 because I assume we're paying interest on it. Uh, investments. What's that there? Vehicles, roads, no. Loan interest. Yeah, look, we're paying 50 odd a grand. So let's repay 500. We still have a loan of 5 million. Okay, so I think what I might do then, off camera, uh, is just pay that loan down a little bit. The last thing we need is just one more train uh, moving tools into Savannah. That's going to blow Savannah up, and in turn, it's going to you know create higher demand for, for bus and rail and all sorts of things. Where's the next uh, town over? to Savannah. We're, we're kind of a little bit out of the way here, aren't we? That's the only problem. As much as we've got stuff set up for Savannah, there isn't actually that many. It's just Palmdale up there, look. So maybe we can join them to up eventually through the canyon there. That might be a bit tricky, but yeah, I think that's going to be the way to go. There we go. Oh, I've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed this, and I definitely think... Um, 
there's going to be more of it on the channel. So I hope you have as well. If you have, let me know. Uh, look at that. Look at that full train there. 42 out of 42. That is what we like to see. That is money coming in. And yeah, definitely getting some tools to hear at the start of the next episode will be the way to go. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next one, be good.